Hey everybody, so I've seen a lot of questions about converting ProBuilder shapes into prefabs or just regular assets. Kind of just getting rid of the ProBuilder stuff on there if that's important to you, making it just a regular thing. So let's take a look at that real quick. I think it's a, a really useful topic, especially for, well, I'll just say for anybody. So let's start by drawing something up real quick. I just like to do this because a lot of people don't know the new stuff is here. Uh, I'm gonna draw in, let's say like a start to a level. Nice and easy like that. Maybe I'll add a stairway to the side. Oops, and I missed it, of course, this time in the in the tutorial. Uh, let's just control Z that uh, and try again. Of course, that happens right now. I can move this up and watch the little blue lines and align it, and then move turn that around so it fits. And off to the side, I think I'll draw something a little more interesting. So let me pick the poly shape, and we'll start from a corner and move around and create something interesting like that pull it up to match as well actually let's pull that down just a little bit we'll make it more interesting and then add in a couple more shapes real quick I promise uh, let's see arches are pretty cool I'm gonna put one here and that's not facing the right way no problem I'll just use the little gizmo here to rotate it I can make it work Nothing's ever as easy when you start recording as the first three times you do it to prepare the recording uh, anyway that's cool we gotta have a way to get get down there, I guess. So let's again put another little stairway here, and I think last thing I'm gonna draw a couple arches, and uh, arches, pillars. Some of these full height, some of them, you know, maybe a little shorter. They're broken or something, something exciting like that. Let's pull this one down just a bit, and I could do the same with others if I wanted to. Cool. So we've got a nice start here. Uh, this is my level. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Now I'm ready to, for some reason, I just, I really want to turn these into basic objects or make them into prefabs and such for a little easier work. So the way that's done is you pick the item and I'll show you how to do it all at once, but just one at a time to begin with, uh, and you go to export. So, oops, sorry. What I mean is you can click export here where it just says it or click the button and that'll give you some extra options. We want to look at those. So here you're going to choose, you can go OBJ, STL, various things, but we want to turn this into a prefab. So we're going to choose that. And you also want to replace the source. If a prefab isn't really important, you can just do a regular asset. I'm going to do prefab because I think that's, that's more useful for now. Um, is it, you know what, let's, let's do asset. We'll start from the base and then, you know, you can, you'll see how it works the other way as well. Um, first thing let's, um, well, I could name these better names. It's not important to this tutorial. Okay, cool. So export, I have replace source turned on. I've set it to asset. I'm going to do that and it's going to ask me where I want to put that and I put it in here and then I'll, I'll have that maybe inside the level geometry folder. So if I do that, now this object, so if I look in the inspector here, you can see no more ProBuilder stuff. So for example, here's the other one. It's got the ProBuilder shape script and all that, which does allow me to, you know, keep doing the nice editing. But, you know, again, this is just for folks who want this to be a super duper regular normal mesh. Now it really just is that. And you can see it has the mesh referenced right here inside, rip, uh, inside this, this uh, folder I've created called level geometry. So at this point, it's exactly the same as an imported mesh, nothing, nothing special at all. Uh, and they're starting to do construction below me. I hope that's not coming through. Good timing. Okay, so you wanna do all those at once and maybe you also wanna make them prefabs. All you need to do is select them all, pretty straightforward. Oops, I've gotten myself into an edit mode. That's a bug. Anyway, select them all. I need to deselect the one that I already converted. This is not going to work on non pro builder objects. So I grab all the pro builder objects and I'm going to go to export, same exact thing, and choose that. In this case, though, I'm going to choose prefab just to show how that works. Same, really. It's going to replace the source. So make sure that's turned on. Click export with all those selected. Go into the folder that I want them to go into and click select that folder. And now every single one of these you can see is converted. So it's doing the same thing in the background where it just punches out that mesh and then replaces. So if I click on here for the mesh, you can see it's here inside the folder there. But I also have prefabs for all these. So if I drag in this, now I have an arch. And if I were to do something like modify whatever, some, some prefab value, the other one is gonna update as well. So prefabs are great. If you get to this point, and you realize, hey, I actually want this to be a little bit different, don't worry, you can still edit that. So 
kind of. It's not as good, right? If you leave it as a true ProBuilder object, you have more options. But what we can do is use ProBuilder Eyes, which I still love that naming. I'll never give it up. Um, you can open the options, look in here, make sure you have import quads and import smoothing. That's gonna, gonna help. It doesn't have to be really complex objects. Like if you're importing some high poly thing from Blender or even ZBrush, if you're crazy, uh, you can pro builderize them. They'll often break if they're super complex, unless you turn these two off. Anyway, not relevant to this. So uh, make sure those are on for this real simple case. And I can just click the button pro builderize here. And now you can start seeing maybe you've got some uh, triangle lines or whatnot. That means it's editable by ProBuilder. So now this has become a regular object. So I can use something like Alt G to quickly select all those faces and then you know do an edit if I wanted to. Uh, not sure what's going on with the snapping. That's what I get for using a beta version of Unity in a tutorial. Well, I should know better. Anyway, uh, yeah. So you can export everything, make it a nice clean if you want to consider it that way. Regular mesh works great with prefabs that way. And then you can also go back and convert it back to editable if you want to. So you can go back and forth as much as you want. Again, you lose the, the parametric values, of course. So if, just to make a quick demo, I want to make sure that's clear what I'm talking about. If I draw in, let's just do yet another stairway here real quick. Um, the difference between these two is this one, I just drew it in as a ProBuilder mesh. It still has the ability to open up the options and maybe I want fewer steps on that or something. And I can continue to do something like pull this out, you know, do stuff like that. So that's useful. Once you export that, of course, it's just a regular mesh. So you don't get those options. Even if I go and ProBuilderize it, now it's editable, but that just means I can edit, you know, pull on parts of the mesh and stuff like that. I don't have those parametric values. Uh, anyway, that has nothing to do with this with this tutorial. I just wanted to make sure it was it was clear. Cool. I hope that helps, folks. I saw a bunch of questions recently on Discord and other places about how to do this. Sorry, I'm a little late. Probably could have saved a few people time. Uh, it's a super handy way to to quickly convert your stuff over if that's necessary. Uh, cool. Feel free to ask any questions if you have them, and um, yeah, hope that helps. Later.